Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Storytime. Well, today's Storytime kicks off our celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, which is from September the 15th through October the 15th. Well, following our Storytime will be a craft with Miss Chanel. Boys and girls, look, we're going to say these numbers in English and in Spanish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we said them in English. Now let's say them in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, Says siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Good job, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, let's sing. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. I can count to diez again. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. I can count to diez. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. Green is a chili pepper, a book of colors, written by Roseanne Thong. Red is a rista. Red is a spice. Red is our salsa on top of rice. Red, rojo. Red is a ribbon. Red is a bow and skirts for ballet for Glory Co. Orange are the marigolds on Day of the Dead. Orange or palatos for special bread. Orange, naranja. Yellow is masa. We used to make tortillas, tamales, and sweet corn cake. Yellow, amarillo. Yellow are the stars that lighten the night. Yellow are faroles, flickering bright. Yellow, amarillo. Green are the corn stalks. Green are the pails. Green is a bench for umbrellas tails. Green, verde. Green is a chili pepper, spicy and hot. Green is cilantro inside our pot. Green, verde. Blue is the endless sky above and handmade crafts for those I love. Blue, azul. Purple are the rides that swirl and spin and the Faria prizes that we win. Purple, Pupara. Pink are the Adornas and candles that glow. Pink are pinatas, watch out below. Pink, Rosa. Brown is a churro, warm and sweet, and homemade chocolate, a special treat. Brown, maroon. White are the flowers we put in a vase, and sugar skulls, and homemade lace. White, blanco. White are the doves that chatter and coo, and the palomitos for me and you. White, blanco. The world is a rainbow of wonder and fun. Ribbons of colors rolled into one. In ponchos, serapes, 
xylophones too. These beautiful colors are waiting for you. The end. Next, we will have Miss Chanel with our craft. Today, we are going to make a scarlet macaw in celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. Scarlet macaws can be found in Mexico and Northern Central America, and they can live up to 50 years in the wild and 75 years in captivity. So if you're interested in learning how to make your own scarlet macaw, please stay tuned. To get started making our macaw, you first need a template. You can freehand your macaw or you can print it out from the link in the description box below. Here I have printed it off and I'm now going to cut out my pattern or my template for my macaw. Now that we have cut out our template, we're now going to trace our template onto our cardstock. So for the body of our macaw, I'm going to trace it onto red paper. For the feet, we're going to trace it onto gray paper. And for the feet, we're going to trace it onto black paper. Once you have finished tracing your macaw onto the paper, you're then going to cut it out. Once you have finished cutting out your macaw, it should start to look like this. Now we're gonna Move this to the side and start on our feathers. To make our feathers, first we're gonna grab a small paper plate like this, and we're gonna have three colors for our feathers, red, yellow, and blue. So for the outer rim of our paper plate, we're gonna paint that blue, and to help space out my feathers, I'm going to draw a circle so I would know where to paint my colors. So this will be my blue color. My next color is going to be yellow. And then my middle color is going to be red. So red, R for red, Y for yellow, B for blue. Now I'm going to grab my paint and I'm going to paint my paper plate in those colors. Now that you have finished painting your paper plate, it should look something like this. We're gonna set this to the side to let it dry, and we're now gonna grab some cardstock. You're gonna need red, yellow, and blue to match your feathers that we painted on our paper plate. We're gonna start with our red, and you're gonna take your hand, and you're gonna close it, and you're gonna trace your hand onto the paper. Because I don't have kid size hands, my tail feathers will be very big. So I'm gonna manipulate my hand size or my tracing to make it into a smaller hand that looks similar to yours. So you can use you can use a pencil. I'm gonna use a 
Sharpie to show you so that it shows up. So I'm gonna take my hand, we're gonna close it, and we're going to trace out your hand. And voila, there is our first tail feather. So from here, you're going to trace out another red tail feather and continue this on your yellow and blue cardstock. Remembering to put two hand traces on each piece of paper. <clears throat> we're going to do this again on our red cardstock, and then we're going to do the same thing on our yellow and blue paper. Once you have finished tracing out your hand onto the paper, you're then going to cut it out. When you're done, your tail feathers should look like this. Now we're gonna grab our paper plate that we painted earlier, and we're gonna take our scissors, and we're gonna cut it straight down the middle. like so. Like so. Now it's time to assemble our macaw. So let's move our tail feathers and our feathers to the side and grab our body of our macaw. So here is our body. We can now glue on our beak. So you want to grab your glue. And we're going to glue on our beak. Now we're going to grab a piece of paper and we're going to trace out where our face is going to be. And then we're going to cut it out. And then we're going to cut it out. Once we cut it out, we're going to glue it onto our face. Then we're going to grab our googly eye and we're going to glue it to our paper. Next, we're going to grab one half of our paper plate feather and we're going to glue it to the underside of our macaw. Take our glue, some glue, and then we're going to glue it. Next, we're going to glue on our feet. So let's grab our two feet. And we're going to glue this onto our macaw where we think our feet would be.
Now we're going to glue on our tail feathers, starting with our blue tail feathers. And we're going to glue these onto our macaw mix. Then we're going to grab our yellow tail feathers and glue them. You can turn it over or not. We're going to glue our yellow tail feathers next. and glue them underneath, like so. And then lastly, we're gonna grab our red tail feathers. We can glue them together first. Lastly, we're going to paint on our last feathers from our paper plate. So. Thank you, Miss Chanel, for that beautiful craft. Now, boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye. Can we all wave goodbye? Now is the time to say now goodbye. Look complete. how fast the time did fly. Our, our time is up, so we must say goodbye, goodbye for today. Ho, 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 it's time to go. He, 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 wave like me. Now is the time to say goodbye. Let's pick up our things and off we fly. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs>